Alright, so this team right here, uh, it's basically a minefield swap team that also just has little Ragnaros in here for magma traps. So maximum traps. Uh, the standard swap team is you start off with a Warbot since he's a mechanical pet who has the strongest minefield ability that you can put out. I don't think there's any other pet that can put out mines that are stronger than Warbots uh, besides Rotten Little Helper and he's a humanoid. Rotten Little Helper, Booby Trap Presence hit a little bit harder. You know what, since undead pets aren't as prevalent as they used to be, I could probably actually just use him instead. Because uh, his Booby Trap Presence hit for 706 damage, while the Warbots only hit for 690. That's like 20 more damage, right? Uh, something around 20 more damage, around 20? Eh, like 16 or something, that's... Whatever, Warbot's good enough. Warbot also has a better racial. Uh, since humanoids really rely on like back row damage if you're gonna take full advantage of the racial, like the fiendish imp does. And the Warbot can go into extra plating and just spam missiles to like duke it out with anything and actually have a good chance of coming out on top since he has pretty good stats. Warbot is a pretty good tier 2 pet. And then the fiendish imp, you can just switch him out. Fiendish imp on 40 teams. I don't think I have any other pet that's on as many teams as the Fiendish Imp. He's just so good. One of the better tier 1 pets because he's really hard to deal with if you don't have a counter with him. Uh, anyways, Warbot throws out Minefields. I go into Fiendish Imp. He switches him out with Nethergate, throws up Immolation, and then switches out. And then little Ragnaros will come in and just beat the shit out of everyone else with his ridiculously high attack power value. And his Magma Trap, which is kind of OP. Uh, unless you have terrible luck, then it's kind of bad. <laughs> but my luck has always been middled ground. It always goes off within a couple turns. It rarely ever goes all nine turns without going off whenever I use it. But that does happen sometimes. Alright, so this team right here, Warbot is going to have a terrible time. You know what? Probably not because I think these teams are all about spamming Wintersville Gift. So if I just go straight for Minefield and switch out... I might be fine unless he goes straight into an ice tomb. In which case, uh, I'm gonna go into a little Ragnaros to block that. Damn it. Will Sons of Flame block it? I'm not 100% sure on that. But I'm gonna try it out anyway. Ooh, a crit. That wasn't good. Well, I was able to block his ice tomb at least. And he's basically going to have to stay in and take this minefield damage. Isn't that right, Jason Bateman? Wait, are all these having weird names? No, not really. Alright, he's alive. I think I'll throw out a magma trap first and then I'll switch out. Or I think I'll just let him switch me out. By killing me. Oh, right! I'm not affected by Blizzard. So I can just survive one extra turn with my Sulfur Smash. Uh, the bombs are gonna go off in one turn, so let's get them off a little bit early. With another gate. Ha 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 ha, look at all that damage you took. Alright, now I'm gonna go into Immolation, unless he decides to switch into. Uh, what should I call it? Anubisath Idol, which would be bad for me. I still can't really go into the Warbot because he's really bad against them. I totally didn't even think about uh, how little Ragnaros would be good against them. I just went into him to dodge an Ice Tomb. And I got unlucky and he crit with his Blizzard against me. I was able to do a lot of damage to him, so I guess it wasn't an all loss. Plus that trap is always really good. Alright, probably going to get hit by that ice tomb no matter what I do. So, I'll let it hit and then I'll just switch out during the turn that it kills me. Ooh, and then hope I can heal up a little bit in the back row. Hmm, maybe refresh Immolation this turn? I have five turns on it. It'll probably go away though with Sandstorm. Whatever, I'm just going to refresh it right here. Oh shit, he's going to try to kill me. Don't kill me. Ooh, I survived just barely. Alright, Devbot. 
Time for you to fight Bengals one on one. Minefield isn't really going to be worth the cast right about now. So it's time to just spam Missile, even though he does have a type advantage with Rapture. Rupture, I mean. Uh, and I'm not going to get any heals as long as Sandstorm's going out. So I can only rely on the Fiendish Imp to get in one guaranteed hit. As long as I keep extra plating off cooldown, I should be fine. I'm based out on nothing. I gotta really hope for some high hitting missiles. And so far, I've just been getting a couple of not so hard hitting missiles. Ooh, looks like I'm a little bit faster. Extra plating is gonna help out quite a bit. Ooh, an unsandstormed. Oh, <laughs> an unsandstormed crit. That. That's actually pretty damn great right there. Ah, no heals in the back row. Stupid fiendish imp. I should be able to kill him though. Oh, it missed! But I still have extra plating up, so I don't really gotta worry either. As long as I don't miss again. Come on. Oh. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I just missed two times in a row. Literally, either of those hitting would have won me the game. I can still win if I get a crit right here. A third miss! <laughs> oh, come on. Well, the way I can win now is if my opponent misses two times in a row, like I just missed three times in a row. Oh my god. That loss. Literally lost because I missed three times in a row under a 10% damage hit reduction. Ah, you see, this is why I quit playing Hearthstone, because of pet battles. I was like, I have enough RNG to deal with in pet battles. I can't handle Hearthstone either. I mean, as well. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, Bronze Whelpling, Nightshade Sproutling. All those bastards will give me a problem. I think I can still set up minefields if I miss. So I'll start off with the. With Devbot first, unless he goes for Crystal Prison. Even then, I do have a type advantage against him, so I'll probably stay in for a little bit. Even if he goes straight into a Crystal Prison. Is he going to go straight into a Liftoff, or is he going to go for an Arcane Slash, which doesn't hit very hard against me? Oh, he's going to switch out. Alright, now let's go for the Minefield. Oh, shit, that hurt. Well... Let's go into the Fiendish Imp now. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to lose half my health to that one thing. Uh, Alright, now time to switch him out. Ooh, a crit. Good job. Alright, now I'm going to go into Immolation and then probably switch out. Yeah, Tornado Punch. I knew that was going to happen. I said probably switch out, but I might just fight Bonkers. Uh, I don't really want to. Let's go into a little Ragnaros and set out another trap. I'll hit him a little bit in the back row. Alright, I should be able to set Magma Trap down with dodge. Why would he go into dodge if he was facing a pet that was faster than him? Whatever. Alright, now I'm just gonna hit with Sulphur Smash just in case the trap goes off. Totally went off. <laughs> Damn. Get wrecked, son. Alright, uh, now I think I think I'm just gonna go for a Sons of the Flame. Unless, of course, he does that to me. In which case, I'll switch into the Warbot. Because he doesn't get hit very hard against this guy. And then I'll go into Minefield just in case he goes into the air. Because it won't hurt that bad. And then I should probably switch to my Fiendish Imp to switch him out. Now, yeah, let's go for a Rocket. Rocket Blast. Pow pow. And then he might go for a lift off. If he goes for an arcane slash, he's gonna be trading blows with me. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's right. His Dragon King Racial should be good enough to uh, let him fight me like that. Alright, now I'm faster than him, so let's switch him out real quick. Do some nice damage to him while he does no damage to me, and then he takes that minefield damage. Even if it's weak minefield damage, it's still not half bad. I'm going to go for the attack just in case he tries to blind me. That way I can set my immolation up during the turn that I can't actually attack him. And I'm just going to fight him out one-on-one. -on -one. 
Unless he decides to switch out, which really doesn't matter because he's going to take damage when he switches out. And I should be able to kill him since I have two pets near full health. So this is a guaranteed win. There's no RNG that can have him uh, make me miss three times in a row. <laughs> uh, no pet battles. So much RNG for a turn-based game. All right, a win. The last one should have been a win too, but you know, whatever, I don't care. <laughs>